Hello everybody, this is Wendy with Wendy's Paper Junk, and I'm hoping you all had a happy 4th of July. I did. It was uh, relaxing, but hot, of course. Um, but anyway, I am finally going to attempt the, um, it's called a postal notebook. And, uh, what it is, it's happier, I don't know, it's more like pen pal mail, or, you know, happy mail. And I've looked at a few different versions, so there's a couple different versions. Um, but this is going to be our practice one to see how I want to tweak it, because, um, one, um, I have a dollar tree notebook that I've recovered. I'm not done recovering it yet, but it's just a little Dollar Tree notebook um, that I'm thinking of putting in an envelope. But we'll get to this. Okay, so you can use whatever envelope you have. You can make one, which I do plan on uh, making a, you know, a fun, you know, solid color one. Um, let's see here. Let me... Uh, so, and I would probably use some cardstock here, and let's see. Um, I'd like to do, like, a black and white. I haven't seen a, like, black envelope. That would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Don't you think? <laughs> so, if you want to do which a heavier a heavier um envelope um whatever envelope you decide to use basically uh you trace it out um and then refold it and i'm wondering how i'm going to do this since technically i'm not going to be able to see uh, i wonder if i scratch it if that's gonna help Let's see. So, and you don't, you could just use whatever, you know, if you have just a regular paper envelope like this one that you can, you know, you opened up, that's fine too. Um, I do think making this out of uh, like a cardstock, it would be more um, durable for whatever you're going to put in it. So, just saying on that note. And I would trace this if I had a white pen. I never did get a white pen. But I think I can see this pretty well. I think so. At least the... Trying to get the angle of the light so I can see what I'm doing. This might not be the best envelope here, but I want to see. But it could turn out. Who knows? Who knows? But I've been I've been looking at these on Pinterest, and I found a few. And um. It's been on my to-do list, and I must say, not that I need another project, <laughs> I currently am bouncing between <laughs> three different journals right now, <laughs> which <sighs> I don't know what I'm going to do. I keep going back and forth between them, but, you know. Whatever works. Whatever works. Okay. Well, hopefully I didn't screw this up too bad. Let's see. I'm just using the... So I know where the folds are.
and I think fun. I'm gonna have to make some more black envelopes. <laughs> I think so. All right, and then okay. So this is the original, just a regular envelope, and I just traced out because I wanted a heavier. Um, a heavier piece of paper. Now, basically, what you do, okay, so what I want to do, what I plan on doing is putting a long pocket here, and then this notebook, I'm going to put uh, the back end and and slip it in so it'll hold it in place and then put the envelope around it and then you know mail it off uh, and then of course it'll have a little letter for me but it'll be a, a embellished notebook okay only thing is it's going to cost of course more than what a regular envelope you know mail will but that's one of the ways I want to do it after watching different ones, I didn't see them do this, but I thought, because I like these dollar notebooks, I think they're fun, you know, gift to send. So inserting a pocket here and then slipping this in or, you know, slipping it, you know, whatever way, but instead of gluing it in or tying it in. So that's one way, okay? But the other way I seen, so now we need, we need paper. So I'm going to go with white, um, white paper, just plain white paper. Okay. And basically, I better just do one at a time. Okay. So basically you need to give yourself an edge. I mean, it's where the creases go in just a little. So you have, you know, a little gap there so it has room to close and then make a mark there's the line so I'm gonna come in just a little okay and then my page length itself I want room for it to fold up so I'm gonna come in some too all right um, Let me cut the length. All right. And that fold, or that line, that's where I want to fold. So. Honestly, well, no, let's just do like we, I can always do this. Okay, so basically what you're going to have is you're going to do a few of these and they're going to go, yep, okay, so we're going to do a few of these. Let me speed you up so you're not waiting. Okay. Sorry. I wanted to. I didn't want to bore you guys watching me cut all that. So we have this little. I have one, two, three, four pages. But of course that's eight. eight. That's 16 pages front and back. So, all right. So what you're going to do, you're going to decide... You can do two things, or technically three. You can staple it in at the bottom. So you can do two staples, okay? You can do staples, or you can sew, and then this would take just two. And, you know, um, we'll probably do, um, of course, I kind of like the staple idea because... 
of, I think I'm going to do the staple just for the, um, my long stapler. Just for the fact I don't get to use this too often. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can. Hopefully it's in the right place. Okay. So we're just going to, yay, look at that. Okay, so the premise is after you embellish, okay, you can put a little pocket in, a bookmark, you can write your little, you know, note, you know, you can decorate this. So then to, then you fold it up, okay. And then you fold, you glue, of course, this closed, okay? And then you come down here and you, depending if you may, if you still have the sticky on your envelope, you can look it closed. Um, otherwise, you glue it and then put a, a sticker there to make sure it closes. And then you um, pretty it up is basically all that is to it. Um, I just like... This is, I thought this would be a fun, uh, happy meal, fun, happy meal. And I'm thinking I might have enough scrap here. To put in a, um, to put in a pocket, don't you think? Let's see. Look at that. Okay. And it blends in. I like that. Or, yeah, does that blend in even better? Yeah, buddy. Let's see. Make sure the white edge is covered with my black. Okay. And unclog my glue because that's always an issue here all right let's put some glue down all right oh all right Hopefully. <laughs> I love this. Of course, this kind of looks like a death note, don't it? <laughs> Might have to. Um... <laughs> well, I had I seen these black my black and white things, and um, I'm like, well, I got so many of them. I fear, you know. I could do like a huge, that's so cool, a huge black and white floral, and let's see, I even have a bird I can throw in, but I have all these black and white florals, which could be fun, and I can put a butterfly in here to send, and let's see, what else can I do here, ooh, that's pretty. Let's see, let's see, fish, a cage. Oh, I wonder, where's the bird? Where's the bird? Maybe I should just do all floral. Seems like that's what I have a lot of. Don't you think? Since it's all black and white. Oh, yeah, and see, there's a nest. I'll have to do just a whole bird one, like nature one, I think. That'll be fun. Oh, look at that big. Okay. So, apparently, I'm going to do some florals. A little leaf. I, might, I probably won't use all of that in there, but... Okay. 
I told you there was a lot in here that I just haven't used. Oh, there's another bird. Okay. So, black and white. Black and white. These are so cool. I'm telling you. And also, I think... What do you guys think? Just like that. Love that. Okay, so... Give it a black... I'm using my black, black inker. Just so it's not. Let me put my pen back in my glue. Alright, so then. Oh. So that's going to go there for the back of the envelope. Just like that. Okay. So I know what I'm doing for the back of the envelope. And the front. And we will go ahead and figure out the front real quick which do I have a I think I need something small enough to um, The stamps are going to go, oh, here is another thing. When you go to mail these off, okay, go into the post office and actually buy, um, let's say this is going to cost 75 cents. Now, you could just get, you know, one, you know, pre, you know, one stamp. But if you tell them you want um, multiple stamps, you know, you got penny stamps, nickel, dime, you know, to add a few, to give it more of the... Um, you know, stamped look, you can add up the total of the stamps to make it really, you know, pretty cool. Um, might have to cut this down. Okay, so let's see here. We need a name and then a return address. So, um, but I need a sturdier um, I think this is cardstock. I need a white sturdy sturdy. I wonder if I can use that. Okay, so if I put it so it's all about just now, you know, let's see, I can put it down in the corner and do, and I'm even being good and using my, <laughs> using my cutter to make nice pretty cuts. Even though I think my blade and my cutter is kind of dull. I'm going to have to replace it. Okay. So, this will be. And then. Oh, how cool would it be to do a. Let's. Hold on. Let's see. Where's that one? Huh. And then this one. And 
Wish I had a... Well, there's going to be stamps up there. Nope. I think that's going to be plenty. What do you guys think? So that'll be the front. So to who, it's going to go to who. See? And then from would be me up there. And then, of course... Alright, so that's there. Let's make this glow some. Da, da, da. This is so cool. Oh my gosh, I think I'm going to be making these <laughs> by the dozen. Alright. So that'll go there. And then the stamps will go there. All right, so now I guess I can go ahead and glue this down. So it'll um, dry enough I can um, write on it. I don't know if it'd be better to write first and then glue it down or glue it down and then write on it. Probably I should probably write on it first in case you make a boo-boo. So, all right. So at least I know how the front's going to look. So you guys know how the front's going to look. And now let's decide. We know how the back is going to look. And then we can put something fun in here. Oh, so when you open it, this is what they're going to see first. So what do we, do we have something that's more of an up and down? How about this? This one's pretty cool. Maybe that, and then right. This will be my note, and I think let's make a tag. Let's make a note card and a tag, and then you know I have my little postal stamps. Sorry, right, the cat got in. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, sorry. The cat's been trying to get into my stuff. So, um, okay, so I, while I was grabbing her... I, this is the only two floral paper paper I have that has a black in it. So, I might save that. So, I cut two pieces of... Oh, and I glued that in. But, I cut two pieces of the black cardstock that I had left over. So, I think I can get two in. Um... If I am smart about this, but see, some most papers when you cut give you that white edge, you know, the white edge, and we don't want that for this because it makes it obvious. At least in my eyes, it does. Okay, so. Now, I'm going to pop this up here and let's see. Do I have, oh, I do. Okay. Basically, 
I want to get the angle. Angle. And you know what's really fun is I have white grommets I can use. Okay, but there's a shiny textured side. Okay, and then the back side. So then I need to put um, I think this Basically, to get the same shape, you just cut it, and then you move it down, and then Now the only thing is, do I want, I think, I want it to look like it's crawling up the edges here. And then do a little at the top. Okay, so then this one is going to go right here on the back. Let's see. Okay, you guys, hold on. I got that stupid pin in my mouth. All right, you guys have to let me know what you think about this project, if you're gonna make one. And also, um, do you like the idea of a pocket to put in an, a notebook? Um, as well as doing an, uh, an, you know, a tied in version, which is the majority of what I've seen. Um, they, t they either stapled them in like this or they tied, you know, tied them in th from the center and tied them in. Um, so you'll have to let me know. Okay. So there's the back and then this one. I guess same thing. Let me cut. Let's do the same thing with this one. Put it over on this side. And then, oh, might help if I, oh, that's long enough. Like I said, I want to look like it's coming up from the bottom. And then, just a little on the top. Okay, and then we'll put this one down. Okay. Now all I have to do Center. Let's 
center. And then I have, how fun, how fun. Oops. Two white. Sometimes this is how we deal with ones that didn't smash all the way. Some, I don't know, they just don't want to smash. Okay, that one. Got it. And then this one. Hope this one does better. Let's see. Uh, do I have it on the wrong? There it goes. It doesn't want to smash all the way for some reason. There it goes. There it goes. Okay. Two. Black with white on the back. So now all we have to do is add some Add some, let's see, what do I want to add? Do this with, oh, I know, I know, even now. nice because it's flat okay so we'll do two two things we'll use let's see I love these old curtains that nobody likes <laughs> I think they work great <laughs> I think they're fabulous and then oh here and then we'll use the edge so we got that and I do have a little black funny I have a couple pieces of black lace okay so for this let's see what do I got here Always cut it. All right. Okay. Pause. Oh. Apparently, I'm having animal issues this morning because she is determined to get into my uh, my crafty stash here. Okay, so um, probably should have waited. Oh well, I could put it like that. And put that like that. And put a little. So basically, you need to make whatever you're going to make for your
for your envelope. And for this, so the only other thing I have to do is find a couple of black and white sentiments to put on this. Okay, and then I am going to put, I think, just like, I'm using fabric tack for my lace, just for the fact, oh, shoot, um, it'll stick and it will dry clear, and then um, I need another little piece of something. Another little piece of something. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to put a sentiment there anyway, so that's okay. Oh, my glue is leaking. That's the thing with fabric tack. Um, technically, I don't know what I am cutting off yet either on it. Let's see. I'm going to put it just... Like this. And then, ugh. Steady. Oops, hopefully, doesn't look like a mess. This wasn't me about me making tags, by the way. <laughs> making that. Okay. Let's get. Ooh, I'm loving that. What do you guys think? And then this one. So. All I'll need is, um, I gotta look around some for black and white text, you know, so the sentiment. So it'll go there and there. And these will be the tags that will go in my pocket, along with a butterfly. But those have gotta dry. Okay. So then, I still want to... I'm going to write, where's my stamper? Let's see. I want where's my black? See if I can get that to work without making a mess. Ooh, look at there! Look at there! Okay, and then I'm gonna put this, or right, you know what? Maybe I'll put it over this. Or, I mean, how did I want that? Let's 
Let's see. Just make it a little. All right. So this is as far I'm going to go, and I got to fix my to-do labels, and I will be back and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, I finished it all up, but I can't show you who it's to because this turned out cute and it's going to somebody. So, I'm covering up their address. But, you don't miss much because, so there's mine, and I have the flower and some trim. Um, the only thing I didn't finish, I didn't finish closing it up because I wanted you guys to see. Um, and remember, oops, it's going to be closed with this. Oops. Okay. So then, okay, open it up. I haven't wrote my note yet either, so that's the only other thing. So here is the front prey, and I put it like this, and I figure, so I'm going to write my note, and then I'm leaving these. I, I went crazy with my postal stamps, um, <laughs> and I post, and I uh, did a stamp on every page. I figure uh, the, you could tear it out and use it in your journal or, you know, whatever, or write in it. So each one has a different postal stamp. Oops, let's see here. Oop, my hands are all gummy. Oh my gosh, okay. So there's that one. And there's this one. I got that one. And then I actually glued some old vintage stamps in. Uh, black, well, they're semi-black and white, so. And then the last one, I did a hello. And then on the back side, you have a black and white butterfly and an old vintage Abbott and Costello stamp. I think this is so cute. So I got that and then you got two handmade tags by me. So one is a charmed life. There's that one. And then this one is the happiest moment, moment in our hearts. So I got two tags. Um, those fit in there just barely <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna try to stick I don't think oh well it can just actually I'll probably stick it in between the pages put the butterfly oh no what I'll put the stamp and well I'll just put the stamp and butterfly in there so in between the pages. okay so there is the back pocket okay so this is my um, pen pal postal notebook. So I just have to write my note. And then I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to leave these blank because I think these can be torn out and used. Or you can just write on them yourself and send me back a letter. So you can tear this out and, you know, mail it, mail it to me. Uh, you know, respond back to me. So that is my isn't it cute? I love this idea. Okay, so I will be making a few more. Um, I'm going to go for, I can't show you the front again. I have to remember that. Um, I'm going to try to make a bigger one with a bigger envelope and um, do a um, insert a notebook. And like I said, these are from the Dollar Tree. These are just the regular plain notebooks and I know they have smaller ones because I have some um I just don't know what I did with them so um oops. so I have to finish recovering this and I will be um doing another envelope like this that has a pocket oops um instead of it being well, for Pete's sakes. Okay. <laughs> so, um, and on a side note, if you guys decide to do this and you want to use just a pre-made envelope 
and let's say whatever you got is smaller than you know this you can always fold it in deeper you know you can always fold it in more so if you need to make it smaller you can always you know fold it in and make it smaller okay so if the, all you're working with is the pre-made envelopes um, you just can't make it bigger because it won't cover proper it won't cover properly if you know what I mean see <laughs> but you can make it smaller if you need to just by folding in the edges and then you know trimming off the additional folds so okay now that my video has been a hot mess, <laughs> stupid cat, <laughs> let me know what you think. Uh, like, subscribe, share, and I will talk to you soon. <laughs> Bye.